Hello everybody, Westbun here. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to make robots. People ask how to do it and I'm gonna make a small yeah, tutorial for it. Alright, so first of all, you need a editing tool, obviously. So you wanna download GIMP. That's one I use. You can use Photoshop too. But I don't know about that. So yeah, I use GIMP. If you wanna follow this tutorial, you should get it too, I guess. Alright. Then you need Skin Installer Ultimate. I'm gonna put the links in the description. Then you download the most up-to-date version. Unzip it somewhere, like I unzipped it on my desktop. Sorry about the mess. Uh, here. So you open this up, and once you installed it, this should open. And you wanna run as administrator, the Skin Installer Ultimate. It will configure for a little while for you. And then you should be at a screen like this. Um, your bar will probably be stuck at 90%, but it's okay. You just have to give it some time. Uh, before we get started, you need to download the .dds plugin for GIMP. For me, the 32-bit version worked, even though I have the 64-bit GIMP. Uh, so I suggest you download the 32-bit also. You will need to navigate to the following folder. Find your GIMP installation, which works quite easy. You right click and open a path and you will be in the correct folder. Once you are here, you will want to get back to GIMP 2. Continue on to LIB and continue on to GIMP 2.0 and plugins. This is where you want to put dds.exe. That's all you gotta do. Just put it in there and close this back down and you open up GIMP as administrator and you are ready to go. So now we need to get a skin, right? So we continue on and go to skin creation. Then you want to go to the following folder. Uh, a little bit. And also you want to open up models and it will load for a little while and then you will have all these, all these folders with the skins in here and for the newer skins you will need to go to RAF then data and characters. Some of the skins of mostly older champions are in here and most of the other skins are here or better exclusively all the skins are in here. So now you want to find a champion you want to change yeah so for this example, let's try Shen. And here you have a couple of files which you want to ignore for now. You can experiment and change around with them, but we are mostly interested in the skins tab, so we open this one up. And here you have your skin numbers. If you don't want to go through trial and error until you find the correct skin, there is a simple solution. You visit lolking.net, you open up 3D models, and you look for your champion, in this case, Shen. Where is Shen? Ba -ba, there he is. And the skins are in the following order. So this is base, this is skin 1, skin 2, skin 3, skin 4, skin 5, skin 6, and so on. So in this example, let's just edit a skin that I own. I actually do not know which skin I do own. Hold on. Uh, let's see, Shen. Oops, there we go. Alright, yeah, that's great. I don't any. I don't own any. Sorry about that. Gotta see which one I own. Because I'm certain I own one at least. I do not. Alright. Let's use the base skin then. Sorry. Okay, so you select base and click once here and select export checked files to computer directory. I used my desktop since I'm a messy pig. Uh, you can just create a new new folder on your desktop and name it skin files, for example. Let's use this one for this example. Press OK. And this little bar will run down here and it will tell you which one it successfully unpacked and which ones it didn't if an error occurred. I never had an error, so yeah, shouldn't happen. And let's navigate to our new folder, skin files. 
open it up and here we have I'll simply click through it until you get to this folder right here and the skin is this one right here when load screen is behind it obviously it's a loading screen image I'm gonna use skin and yeah this is what a what a skin looks like in the raw raw format so we obviously want to customize it and to give you a very simple example of what you can do is for example we want to change um his eye yeah or his eye socket let's change his eye socket make sure a stoner we want to do a more accurate outline than this but it works for the example so i'm gonna go ahead and change the color settings in this case i want it to be red so whoop we go over here okay this looks rather inflamed all right so he has a eye infection instead of being a stoner that's all right too okay so once we've done that let's see let's do a few little more fun changes just to see how it works so i gotta warn you at this stage though because many things in many skins are simply cloned or mirrored so if for example only half of his belt would be here it would be mirrored and if i paint like a uh, all right this won't work right now hold on so if i would paint a circle here it would mirror down here and display the circle again in game on the other side uh, but it's not like that in this case at least i don't think so so let's do a fun little drawing um, of this fruit right here this will look like total shit but it's just to give you an example all right let's make it rudy belt all right and something more yeah let's just paint this belt red that should be enough to see in game oops wrong button we go ahead here and i won't go over all these settings since this would take ages uh, simply try out what works for you uh, which settings you like uh, and to give you a quick little tip a little trick uh, it took me a little while to figure this out uh, let's say we want this area here to be black okay so i'm gonna go to colors and eh, i don't know the english word for this so you go here and i tried and tried to find black you know it doesn't work it doesn't work doesn't work so what you want to do is this middle bar i think it's saturation yeah saturation fully down and then you pull this one also down carefully this this makes it black i had trouble figuring this out hope it helps you so now this is the unclean way to do it uh since it makes the dot tds bigger but i'm gonna go ahead and do it anyways just for the purpose of showing this um if you want to export it as a dot dds i'm going to show you how you do it uh, just in case so you go here and as you can see here are many different file endings and you basically want to just press export and replace in this case and we have a couple more settings here um, you can use a compression which keeps the dds in line it's usually not needed for skin files but if you edit icons etc they have a uh, i believe it's called a sanity check and if the file size is bigger like significantly bigger than the original um, you will get a bug splat so if you edit icons try which one works best for you uh, preserves the quality best um yeah generate mipmaps that's mm, not quite necessary but it's helpful so just press okay here and it should have overwritten nope that's the one i'm working on currently right here's the shen one uh, and it should have overwritten this one so now you want to install the skin easy peasy add files navigate to your to your folder um where did it Ah, skin files there we go open your skin your new skin up obviously press ok add to database and usually you would have to go over here select the skin and press install 
um, but I don't do, have to do that since I checked automatically and star. I suggest you do the same. And here we can select which skin we want to replace and since it's the custom skin we also replace the custom skin and also I don't own any other skin for Shen. Alright, let's check out if it worked. I think we're gonna have to add a game capture for that. Uh, or actually, hold on, let me see if this works this way. If there's a black picture while loading screen, I apologize. This is pretty spontaneous. But a lot of people asked uh, that I tell them how to do it, so yeah, I decided to just do it real fast. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Visible? Ah, it's visible, perfect, okay. We don't even need screen ca uh, game capture, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Loading, loading. Alright, so here's Shen, and as you can see he has the fruit, fruity shoulder plates right here, and the red belt, and that's basically how you create chromas or uh, change the color of skins. I hope this helped you, um, sorry if it's a little bit spontaneous, but yeah, as I said, people ask for it, I decided to do it, so yeah. Have fun, I hope you enjoy, have a good day, goodbye.